Forbes just announced their top five ways to make money online in 2024. So let's explore their top recommendations together in today's video. Basically, everyone wants to be making more money and have a second stream of income nowadays and even better if it's online, right? And this makes total sense. The state of the economy basically demands that pretty much everyone have more than one stream of income coming in. And additionally, I think basically everyone is over those long commutes, those water cooler, surface level conversations, and everything that else that comes with sitting in a office like long meetings that could have been an email. Additionally, I think more and more families and individuals are waking up to the fact that they don't have to spend 40 plus hours working for someone else in an office away from their family and that there are alternative lifestyles that allow them to reunite as a family and spend more than just an hour or two for dinner and bedtime together each evening. And the reality of having an online stream of income in 2024 is more possible than ever before. But not all ways of making money online are created equal. So here are four Forbes top five recommendations for ways to make money online in 2024. I'm going to run through the pros and cons of each and then be sure to stay tuned to the very end where I highlight my favorite and clear winner. Forbes first recommendation for top ways to make money online in 2024 is selling on an e-commerce platform. Now selling online and e-commerce with physical products can be a really good option for a lot of people. If you are interested in this, I would direct you towards Allison J. Prince's How to sell online podcast. It's free and she gives a lot of valuable information away for free over there, which is really cool. Some of the pros of selling physical products via e-commerce is that the internet basically gives you an unlimited amount of potential customers that could buy from you. The internet also allows you to really niche down and target a very specific target audience if you choose to go that direction as well. And also probably the biggest pro for most people is that this one doesn't really require you to show your face depending on how you do it. You could either choose something that doesn't require models at all, or you could simply hire out the models for the top photography piece. So I think this is very appealing to people in that regard. Some of the cons of selling physical products via e-commerce is that it most of the time requires a significant initial investment up front in order to get that stock. Additionally, once you have those products, you're going to have to store them somewhere, do shipping yourself, handle customer returns, packaging, all of that sort of stuff. Usually when brands get big enough, of course they outsource these, but it's something to factor in if you're just looking to get into this space because when you're a young business, you're most likely going to need to do all of that type of things in house until you grow large enough to outsource it. Additionally, you are going to need to go through the painstaking process of sourcing items. And if you watched my recent videos, five side hustles that promised $800 a day or more all the way through, you probably know that this is why I personally don't go with selling physical products with e-commerce. I found for me, all of the readily available manufacturing sources that were within a price range that would mean I would actually make a profit came from what I would call unfair labor practices and things like that. And so obviously do your own research here. I'm not trying to shame anyone that chose this route. Um, but for me, I wanted to feel 100% confident that no exploitation was happening in my business in the way that I was making revenue or profit, which is why I steered clear of this particular way of making money online. I do just want to say, of course, there are ethical ways to manufacture products. Of course there are, but I think you need to have a lot more knowledge. You need to really do your investigation and also you're more than likely going to need an even higher capital to get started a higher investment up front, which simply I didn't have when I was getting started with my online business. Finally, another big con here is that again, for small businesses just starting out in the e-commerce world, you're really going to need to rely on organic marketing. Again, once you grow large enough, just so you can outsource those other products, you can also more than likely pay for ads. But in the beginning, as you're bootstrapping this, as you are figuring out the ropes, you're more than likely going to have to lean very heavily on organic marketing and organic marketing is honestly not something that I love to spend all my time on. I do utilize social media to some degree on my online business. You're watching this YouTube video right now. However, I try and keep that very limited and um, I really like to focus on paid advertisement for my own business and with e-commerce physical products. When you're starting out, you're not going to have a high enough product margin in order to factor in ads. Before we move on to number two, I just want to say if you're loving all things online business and this video, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and also join me over on Instagram. We have a lot of fun over there. Forbes number two way of making money online in 2024 is through sponsored content. I'm honestly not going to spend too much time on this one because if you're watching this video, you more than likely don't have a massive following, a massive audience to which you could already tap into. And therefore, I don't think this one is going to necessarily appeal to the 
audience that is going to watch this type of video, but I am going to link some resources down in the description box below if you are specifically interested in brand or sponsored content. By now, you probably realize that I am a huge fan of online businesses and ways of making money online that do not require huge audiences or you know that certain social media algorithms super love you, um, which plays into my number one pick. But if this is something you wanna tap into, by all means, go for it. There are plenty of people that are very successful. It's just not my personal cup of tea. Forbes, the number three way to make money online in 2024 is through digital products. Digital products are amazing because you do the work upfront once and then you can resell the same product over and over again with very minimal upkeep on the back end at that point. Additionally, overhead cost or startup cost for digital products is very low compared to what you can sell them for, which again is another amazing pro. Examples of digital products include things like ebooks, courses, exclusive webinars, and even software. I did do an entire video, I actually have multiple videos about digital products, so I'm gonna put some of those here and link them down in the description so you can check those out if you are specifically interested in digital products. Forbes number four of the top five ways to make money online in 2024 is through subscription services. Subscription services can range from everything to a private Facebook group all the way up to something like an app. It really can span a very wide range of what that means and people get really creative with this which is really cool. No matter what though this is usually exclusive content. There's even YouTube videos that have exclusive channels that you have to pay to view and this could even include things like you know a secret recipe of the month if you're a baker or a cooking online business and it can just mean a lot of different things but this is a really cool concept and people really love it and for a good reason online business owners also super love subscription services because it's a much more reliable source of revenue coming into your business whether it's monthly or quarterly weekly daily whatever that subscription renewal looks like again the con here is gonna be similar to cons from previous options which is that this is gonna more than likely require either a large advertising budget or a large social media following. So again, this is a really cool one that you could add into your online business as you're more established. It's not necessarily one that I think would be hugely successful in the very beginning stages or the infancy stages of your online business. And then the fifth and final uh, top way that Forbes says to make money online in 2024 and my clear winner and favorite is affiliate marketing. This should come as no surprise if you are a regular viewer of this channel. I am a huge fan of affiliate marketing and let me explain a little bit in detail here. In case you're unfamiliar, affiliate marketing is partnering with a company in order to promote their products or services in exchange for a commission on every sale. And affiliate marketing is amazing for multiple reasons. One, it is wildly flexible and can be done from basically anywhere in the world and at any time of day. Two, you're also not dealing with things like customer service and returns and everything Everything like that the company handles all of that background behind the scenes stuff you get to focus on only promoting the product or service however not all affiliate marketing is created equal I just recently did an entire video on the difference between high ticket affiliate marketing and low ticket affiliate marketing and you can go ahead and watch that video here or catch it down in the description below but I'm just gonna run down some of the highlights for this in this video as well the honest truth is that for low ticket products uh, the ones you see kind of touted everywhere whether that's the Amazon affiliate program, Nike, Sephora, all of those big ones, you know, 86% of companies do offer an affiliate program, but those low ticket items obviously come with a much lower commission and those payouts are not going to get you that far unless you, again, have a huge audience constantly posting on social media or some other tactic like that where you can have access to a very broad audience. High ticket products, on the other hand, are my favorite and they're just simply amazing. I personally love them because high ticket products have such a large profit margin built into them with your commission that you can factor in ad spend. Again, if you've watched my channel or even throughout this video, you may have picked up on the fact that yes, I leverage social media, but I do not want to be dependent on it and the algorithms and everything like that. I want to kind of post and move on with my life and live life, you know, outside of social media. And I love ads because they allow me to have a large reach to 
my specific target audience for the product that I'm promoting. And that's factored into the profit margin with a high ticket product where it would never make sense to run ads for a low ticket or even a medium ticket. That's kind of what I call the in-between products. If you would like to know more information about my specific high ticket product and the platform and the training that comes with it, you can fill out the form down below, which when you submit that will then give you access to my free 20 minute webinar, which explains that in detail. But of course there are a lot of other high ticket products out there. Please don't ask me in the comments what they are. You need to do your own research. I am not an expert on all high ticket affiliate programs out there. I simply am an expert on the one that I am affiliated with, know and love and aligns with my values. So um, yes, please Please do your own research, but there are other ones out there and you can pick from a myriad of different high ticket products. So in conclusion, which one of these top five ways that Forbes suggests are you going to try uh, to make money online in 2024? Please let me know down in the comments. I know everyone comes from different backgrounds and they have different affinities and they have different skill sets. So I know we may all choose a different one of the five and I would love to hear what you're going to choose. And I know you're absolutely going to crush your online income goals in 2024. Again, and check out any of those videos I mentioned today that dive specifically into those three of these five that I personally recommend. And I hope to see you around again in the next video. Have a wonderful day.